Hello, um, welcome to ProMaker Studios. On today's show, we are going to make a copper flute. Um, this was a PLA print. Um, I printed it on a, a 3D printer. And what I did was I used the paint I made in a prior episode uh, <clears throat> to coat this uh, piece of PLA. Um, to electroform this. It basically turn, take that, that flute shape that I printed from the 3D printer into a structural piece of copper. Um, so um, I will show you some of the process on, on how I uh, did that. So we will uh, cut to that and then we will actually see if this, uh, if this thing actually plays. Hello, welcome to ProMaker Studios. I'm Dave. On our last show, we uh, we made some paint, um, and we painted some of these cauldrons. So here we go. We've got uh, three cauldrons painted and wired and ready to go into the tank. So we're just going to set these aside. Um, so today's special little project is uh, this flute. We're going to make a copper flute today. So I, I 3D printed this uh, model, it's a, a transverse flute. Um, so we're going to wire it up and coat it in uh, our conductive paint and then a little later we're going to stick them in the tank. Uh, hopefully I can get some time lapse on that, uh, but uh, we shall see. Right, um, we've made some uh, grounding wire. So we want to... Uh, use the wire and work with the aesthetic of, uh, of this flute. Uh, this flute is intended to emulate a bamboo flute. And if you notice, there are ridges here. So it really makes it uh, easy for us to, to hide the wire and incorporate it into the uh, aesthetic. So we are just going to quickly wire wrap these areas. Now because you are wire wrapping these, um, and they are getting plated. You want to, uh, your high point, which will be here, um, is also where you're gonna cut and uh, smooth off. So you wanna make sure that that's not necessarily uh, in the way of, of fingers, because there is a, a ridge, but you can always uh, smooth that down. So we're just gonna put wire along these uh, ridges and then, uh, and then give it a here we go, we have uh, wired the flute. Uh, we put wire around the, the ridges here. Uh, this is where we're gonna put our uh, lead um, to our rectifier. And you wanna make sure these are uh, snug. Um, now this particular uh, flute is sort of a prototype, I guess. Um, I did make a Sakachi with uh, with PVC and copper and actually uh, tuned really well. So just going to uh, snip off the extra here. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> now we're going to uh, paint it. We grab our paint that we made in our last video and we just uh, give it a nice little mix. And basically what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, <clears throat> paint this entire flute body um, with conductor paint. Now we don't need to worry about insides or through holes because uh, <clears throat> this isn't uh, the, the point. Um, this is uh, only part of the process of this uh, flute. Uh, so it'll be really interesting to see what it uh, turns out like. So it's a, it's a the project of the week. Um, anyway, I'm, I'll get this uh, finished up and uh, we'll move on to the next step. As you can see, we uh, have it painted and wired. Um, this is actually uh, telephone wire, which is perfect for electroforming because it's rated at uh, 5 volts and 10 amps. Um, so 
so you can't really put uh, more than 10 amps on a single strand with this um, but it's ideally suited I also keep it uh, sheathed um, so when I dip it in the tank I'm not plating the copper inside the, the wire um, the plate is actually going to start from these spots and they grow outward um, so these center areas will plate last um, I didn't cover the back end because uh, I will be removing the, uh, the plastic out of here. Oh, it looks like I have some gunk. Um, I'm removing the plastic out of here uh, and then putting it back into the tank for some uh, finishing. Uh, and then I will put in a, uh, a stopper here and then begin tuning the uh, instrument. So hopefully this will go well. And uh, this flute should be ready within the next day or two. Um, so we got it wired. This will take, uh, let's see, a couple of amps of current. So um, if you have a, a small little 10 gallon tank, uh, this would be a perfect sized uh, uh, thing. You could float in there like this and uh, plate it at about uh, two amps. So I'm gonna be plating this. Hello, um, we got our uh, part painted and wired and we're ready to throw it in the tank. Now I tried to do it earlier and it wanted to float because it's made out of PLA. So we're just gonna add uh, a little bit of a counterweight. Um, actually, we're just going to use this little piece of glass here, and we're going to attach it to the end. Um, this will keep its weight down. Looks like a, a big mess wires usually is. So as you can see it's going in there and we leave it to about there. Still wants to float. But we're not going to let that deter us. We're just going to uh, current. I have it set to its lowest setting, which is 1.1. And over the course of a few hours, the copper is going to grow on the part. And what will happen is it'll give it some weight um, and push the rest of it down. So. Uh, even though it floats for a bit, uh, it won't do so for very much longer. So that's it for tonight. Um, we will check on this uh, tomorrow. Until then, I will see you then. It's been about uh, 20 hours. Um, I plated it a little bit too long. I had some things come up. But what we got here is a very beautiful copper tube. Check that out. bit awkward trying to film and work um, but here you go now as you can see the ends are covered up a little bit uh, a little bit more than I actually wanted them to be covered so now what we got to do is uh, rinse it and somehow get the PLA out so uh, we'll go do that right now, and uh, we'll be right back. You have it. Um, I still have some plastic I still have to uh, remove, but this is a uh, copper flute uh, made out of PLA coated in copper, um, and then with uh, the PLA removed. And then I got to do a, a few things uh, with the holes, and I got to make a stop back here, but this will be a transverse flute. So that's it. Um, 
basically what happened after I got out of the tank, I had to remove the uh, PLA from from inside. Um, taught me a lot. Um, the PLA was uh, really difficult to get out, but uh, if you use heat, uh, just remember that PLA is uh, is more heat sensitive than than copper. So if you use uh, uh, enough heat, you can actually just pull it right out with a twisting action and it just comes out in, in one shot. Um, but for future designs, um, I, will, uh, I will take that into consideration. Anyway, uh, so after I pulled the PLA out, I, uh, I drilled some holes in it and uh, put in a uh, little, little cork stopper. Um, it's not the most harmonic flute, however. It does have a potential, so if I were to stick this in the tank for perhaps another 24 hours um, and then use a, a drill, um, you would have a, a thick enough uh, um, shell um, and a cut here um, to get a really nice harmonic and uh, you can also uh, play with the uh, the density of this so if you're going to be tuning for a particular notation um, by simply immersing it back into the tank and planning it for just an hour it's going to change uh, the, the sound of this, this instrument so um, yeah, so if you're interested in making flutes, uh, 3D print one uh, and uh, play it, throw it in a tank, take it out and uh, make yourself a musical instrument. So my next project after this is going to be um, another type of uh, transverse flute. It's going to have uh, seven holes instead of six and it's going to be in a, in a very odd uh, thing. It's going to be in two parts. It'll be this part this part with the third part which will insert uh, right about here and I'm going to be uh, making that for an upcoming uh, uh, production, uh, VR production. Uh, so until next time, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, please uh, stop, uh, check out my website promaker.ca um, and uh, like and subscribe on my very um, interesting YouTube channel. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Take care.